Good morning. It's Good News Friday. You know, 2019 and 2020 so far has been fantastic actually for us because we see all these changes. Now, many of us, myself included, are impatient. We want to see quick, dramatic changes. Uh, we want to see the globalists fall on their faces. We want to see it happen now. We want to see them on trial. We want to see their projects falling. We want to see it now, right? Well, I think the time is now. Yeah, we see the change. The waiting is sort of over now. Yeah, I will talk about the Euro project, the, the currency that we have here in the EU. Uh, it started off in 1999. And the, the idea was to have everybody join, but not everybody did, which was sort of bad for them from the start. Sweden didn't join, you see. Norway didn't even join the, join the EU. And the UK didn't join the Euro, right? So it was sort of bad from the start. And the currency has been weak, really. Yeah. Uh, which has benefited Germany for some reason. I don't understand how they managed to do this. But Germany, they have been doing well, and sort of all the others have been struggling, especially, you know, countries like Greece. They are in some sort of straitjacket. They will never be able to pay the debts. Never. And they are controlled by the European Central Bank and Germany. So it's really bad. But it's not just Greece, it's also uh, Italy and uh, France, you see, and Spain and uh, Portugal. We're talking about huge debts. But also even Germany uh, have huge debts now, right? So um, this Euro project, uh, it's not been working. And before the Corona crisis, it was really, really bad. Yeah. The European Central Bank, their solution is to print money all the time <laughs> and buy national bonds to stabilize the situation. But you know what happens when you just keep on printing money, right? It will crash. Yeah. And then came the Corona crisis. See? And these stupid governments decided to lock down people, uh, sh shut their countries down. So uh, it's just a matter of time. I think it's happening very, very soon. Hmm. Of course, you, will, you could say that this is bad, right? Recessions. People will struggle. Yeah, it will be trouble for a lot of people, of course, for some time. But I think it's a good thing, you see. Uh, it gives us a chance to see a big change, the change that we need. People who are able to take care of themselves will take care of themselves. Yeah, of course. And we will see something new. Something better. Just get rid of the globalists. Yeah. And go back to nationalism. I think that's what's going to happen. I also have this fantastic, uh, great news from the United States. It's, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I will just tell you how I see this. It's about Obamagate. Uh, it started with Trump tweeting. He did 126 tweets on Sunday. And you know, his tweet, Twitter account has got uh, 80 million followers including CNN, <laughs> Washington Post, and all the others, you know. When Trump is tweeting, this is news. Uh, this is a big thing. So this story, of course, went viral very quickly. Obamagate. Now, I, if I understand this correctly, uh, Trump was angry with Obama because Obama has, was criticizing him in some interview about how he dealt with the corona crisis. So Trump got 
really pissed off and then he did all these tweets yeah and it's a good thing i love this you know it's been there's been a, so much focus on uh, trump for so long they tried to get rid of him they tried everything everything they got they just uh, throw at him yeah? and nothing worked it was the Russian collusion it was the impeachment it was everything protests everything right and they attacked people around him right so Obamagate uh, this is what I understand it's basically a coup it's an attempt to get rid of Trump and Obama is a good target here because I think this is what happened he was a Trump was about to get elected and people said we can't have Trump you know we have to stop him and Obama said yeah I agree and you know I will use my power as the president to do it that's what I think happened and then he was Trump was elected and Obama got to work on this while he was still in the office in the White House so it was a coup uh, and they used this Russian thing and they attacked people around Trump trying to get rid of them uh, you know making life miserable for these people Michael Flynn was an example and Trump says this is the biggest political crime in, hi in American history yeah. and he says it, it makes Watergate look small time and I think he's absolutely right. He also wants Obama to testify. Hmm. Brilliant. So I love this, of course. Uh, there was a comment that I read just to confirm this coup idea. It is, it's really a coup, yeah. Uh, it's from Republican Congressman Andy Biggs of Arizona. He said, this really was a conspiracy to do something that we've not seen in American history and that was to actually perform a coup he says that's really what it was this was an attempt to undermine the election of the people that's a coup yeah. okay that's all I wish you a great weekend bye